For the rest of the webinar, I will give some particular terms uh, related to strategy. So uh, let's start with the clear definition of strategy. And I will uh, give uh, two more of them uh, later. Strategy is the direction and scope of an organization over the long term, which achieves advantage in a changing environment through its configuration of resources and competencies with the aim of fulfilling stakeholder expectations. A definition by the book, okay? Uh, there are some terms in this definition. I, I will go over these terms uh, more and more. Long-term direction uh, is a defining feature of uh, strategy. Defining long-term is very difficult. For example, the strategic time horizons in one industry might be 50 years, uh, for example, while it might be six months in very fast-moving sectors. Uh, and then strategic decision making deals with the scope of an organization's activities. It's a holistic uh, perspective. Thus, uh, those informing and making strategic decision must be aware of uh, all the different constituent elements that make up their organization. Strategy involves gaining advantage. This is a contentious uh, point and one that has its roots in the traditions of strategy from the perspective of profit-making organizations. And strategic fit of an organization resources to the environments in which it operates is also seen as characteristic of strategy. Organizations need to position themselves in order to maximize their resource configuration. Also, the strategic a characteristic of developing resources and competencies is also useful to maximize competitive advantage. The characteristics of matching the strategy to meet the values and expectation of stakeholders is fundamental to strategy. This final element is the characteristic that is influenced by a sociological perspective. So, strategic management uh, could be considered as a set of preconceived, yeah, uh, that is to say, established management action that result in setting the direction and scope of an organization over the long term, which achieves advantage in a changing environment through its configuration of resources and competencies with the aim of fulfilling stakeholder expectations. Uh, to continue with the strategy, uh, another definition uh, strategy is an organization's proactive response to an ever-changing environment. Uh, the instruments which, which enables an organization to find synthesis between its goals and resources in views of the risks and challenges of the changing environment. A strategy can be best described as an indication of an organization positioning for the future. That is to say, what should be done rather than how it should be done. It means doing the right thing rather than doing things right. It's therefore the thinking, the logic behind the actions. Uh, as for the link to communication uh, of strategy, communication, corporate communication strategy, uh, when we talk about the co co corporate uh, communication strategy, we mean uh, something that provides the focus and direction for an organization's communication with its stakeholders. It determines what should be communicated to assist in achieving organization goals. Uh, identify uh, these, all these is derived from identifying key strategic issues, determining their impact uh, on the organization's stakeholders, and determining what should be communicated to solve the problem and to capital, capitalize on the opportunities. Strategy, uh, strategies definitions uh, are now uh, uh, are sufficient for now. So uh, we can derive some uh, definitions from that uh, point. Uh, for example, communication plans. A communication plan puts the corporate communication strategy into practice. 
that is to say, it breaks down a set of in intentions into steps, formalizing those steps uh, so that they can uh, be implemented almost automatically. Uh, what about stakeholders and publics? In the public relations literature, the term uh, publics is used to describe what is known as stakeholders in the literature of strategic uh, management. Uh, these two terms are therefore often used uh, synonymously. However, in this context, uh, of the, in the context of the strategic management uh, of an organization's communications, there are subtle differences. Uh, individual or individuals or groups are stakeholders when they affect, uh, when they, uh, when they are affected by the decisions of an organization, or if their decisions affect an organization, so stakeholders are uh, passive, uh, are normally seen uh, as passive uh, components. When they become aware of problems and actively communicate, uh, and actively start to communicate, they can be described as aware or active publics. What about the strategic issues, which is the main component of strategic management and strategy? Strategic issues are defined as developments, events, and trends viewed by decision makers as consequential because of the potential to impact on organization's strategy. Uh, strategic issues could range from uh, a competitive, a new competitive uh, strategy. Uh, which necess necessitate uh, fundamental changes in attitudes and behavior uh, to restructuring, downsizing, cost improvements, transformation, shifts in the uh, environment. These all strategic issues are for businesses, uh, as you see. And what about you? I want you to uh, identify your personal strategic issues these days, recently. What, is, what are uh, or is your personal strategic issues or issues issue these days? So I want you to think about how to solve or uh, capitalize on them. Keep, it my, keep, uh, keep this uh, question in mind. So strategic management, what is it? What it is? Strategic management is a, a continuous process of thinking through the current mission of the organization. Thinking through the current environment conditions and then combining these elements by setting forth a guide for tomorrow's decisions and results. So, <coughs> at this point we have some concepts, uh, some uh, concepts dichotomies. Strategic thinking versus strategic planning. The first step in strategic management process is strategic thinking. Strategic thinking uh, is the outcome, uh, excuse me, the outcome is strategic decisions uh, and those decisions uh, deals with the determination of st strategy, provide the definitions of the business and the general relationship between the organization and its environment. Strategic management also deals with the strategic planning also. It's required to put uh, decisions into practice as well as with uh, strategic control, which ensures that the chosen strategy is being implemented properly and uh, produces the desired results. Strategic thinking is different from both strategic and operational planning. Uh, it is the framework for the strategic and operational plan. It attempts to determine what the organization should look like. And strategic and operational planning is the type of thinking that helps to choose how to get there. So, uh, by thinking strategically, you must figure out what the organization should look like or should do. Or, and by planning strategically, you should figure out uh, choosing how to get there. So, uh, keeping the question 
in mind what is your uh, strategic issues these days uh, according to strategic thinking what do you decide on doing and according to strategic planning how to, uh, how do you plan to get there to get this solution i want you to think about that strategic planning uh, especially planning uh, involves uh, three uh, steps or three components uh, analysis which is breaking down a set of intentions into steps uh, and second formalizing those steps so that they can be implemented almost automatically and articulating uh, the anticipated consequences or results. Strategic planning is intermediate step between direction setting, uh, that is to say, which is strategy formulating and budgeting or resource allocation, which is operational planning. Strategic planning involves three steps also. Uh, one of them is expressing the strategies in terms sufficiently clear to render them formally operational. Uh, the second one is breaking down the strategies into sub-strategies and ad hoc programs as well as overall action plans specifying what must be done to realize each strategy. And the third one is considering the effects of the changes on the organization's operations. Uh, in applying the above to the corporate communication function, it will seem that senior communication managers are also spending most of their time discussing operational issues. <coughs> Once the corporate communication strategy has been developed by means of a strategic thinking process, uh, that indicates what should be communicated to whom a strategic communication plan should be developed for the corporate communication function and its divisions expressing the strategy in terms is sufficiently clear to render it formally operation, operational. Um, operational planning deals with implementation and support of strategic plans. Uh, these are specific specific actions to are, uh, which are devised which allow uh, the organization to realize its target priorities. Action plans have four elements: specific functional tactics or actions or activities or uh, secondly each tactic action and activity has one or more specific short-term objectives or targets identified as out incomes and uh, thirdly a clear time frame for completion and uh, finally accountability uh, which is identifying persons responsible for each action Levels of strategies, uh, and uh, at this point, we come to the levels of strategies in a business. What are they? There are uh, normally five levels of strategy in an organization. Uh, these are defined more or less in literature, all of them. They are more conceptual uh, than real, but uh, they have a lot to conceptualize the types of strategies in an organization. They are uh, enterprise strategy, corporate strategy, business unit strategy, functional strategy, and operation strategy. If we go through the details about them, uh, enterprise strategy, it concerns the co organization's mission, purpose, and role in society. It addresses questions uh, such as why the organization exists, what it attempts to provide to society, which sectors of the economy it forms part of, and how it functions in society. For example, as a non-for-profit organization or as a profit-making firm. Enterprise strategy should address questions uh, like these ones. Uh, how is the organization, uh, organization perceived by its stakeholders? What are their values and expectations and what does the organization stand for? The enterprise strategy acts as a framework to guide the formation uh, of corporate uh, policies and strategies in other areas. An enterprise level strategy is important because corporate survival 
depends in part on there being some fit between the values of the organization and its managers, the expectations of its stakeholders, and the societal uh, issues which will determine the ability of the organization to sell its product. It involves strategic thinking, the enterprise strategy involves strategic th thinking. Uh, it uh, deals with vision, mission and role in society, role of the organization in society. And it deals also relationship with the environment. And it uh, tries to achieve non-financial goals. Uh, it tries to figure out or form image, the image, social responsibility approach and moral and ethical issues of the organization. And strategy is always stakeholder uh, oriented. The second strategy, the second level of strategy uh, is corporate strategy. At the corporate level, strategy is mainly concerned with defining the set of businesses that should form the organization overall profile and unify and point them toward an overall goal. Corporate strategy can be described as the responsibility of the uh, board and top management for the organization financial performance. Uh, it uh, addresses questions uh, such as which set of businesses should the firm compete in and how should they be integrated? Uh, some scholars don't uh, distinguish between enterprise and uh, corporate level strategy, uh, but they combine both uh, under the term corporate strategy. However, uh, it's somehow uh, useful to make this differentiation in order to understand the role of corporate communication in the organization's strategy formulation process, and this focuses on the identification and management of stakeholders and largely determined by the enterprise strategy. The corporate uh, level strategy defines and unifies portfolio of businesses. Uh, it uh, uh, decides on how uh, businesses complement, reinforce each other. Uh, it deals with the resource allocation to business levels and uh, so it supports uh, enterprise, it supports directly the enterprise strategy, and this strategy is always financially oriented. And uh, the other, uh, another level uh, of strategy is business unit strategy. Uh, this strategy is the responsibility of the general managers of a business unit in an organization. He or she must translate the statements of direction and intent generated at the corporate level into concrete uh, objectives and strategies. Uh, and, and business strategy usually covers a single product or a group or related product or uh, services. Uh, uh, it is uh, this strategy, this level of strategies uh, deals uh, how to compete in product market and industry segments. Uh, it identifies niche markets and niche uh, areas. Uh, it tries to integrate functional levels to produce competitive advantage. It supports enterprise and corporate strategy, and it is always marketing oriented. The fourth level of strategy is functional strategy. The focus of uh, corporate, uh, I mean, the principal responsibility of the functional level is to implement the strategic plans uh, at all. So the focus of corporate communication strategy as a functional strategy is to establish a, establish a match between the organization and the values and expectations of its strategic stakeholders. This is achieved by identifying strategic stakeholders and managing relationships uh, with them. Identifying the organization's key strategic issues and the publics and activists that emerge around them and reducing uh, conflict and uh, uncertainty uh, around the uh, organization. Uh, functional level strategy relates the enterprise corporate business strategies to the function, to the functional level. Uh, it deals with coordination with other functions. Uh, it supports uh, business uh, and corporate enterprise level strategies. And this level strategy, this level of strategy is always oriented towards capitalizing on synergies and competitive advantages. And the last level of strategies is operations 
strategy in a business. At the operational level, strategies are translated into action. Key operating managers must establish short-term objectives and operating strategies uh, that contribute to business and corporate level goals. Operation strategies are needed to manage operating units and line areas in a cost-effective manner. Uh, these strategies translate organization strategy into action. It develops functional tactics, uh, which are activities unique to function. It maximizes uh, the resource productivity, and this level strategy is oriented, always oriented, toward cost effectiveness. So, uh, for today, uh, that's all uh, that I want to explain or give to you. Uh, and the last uh, slide. Uh, in understanding the difference between enterprise, corporate, business, functional, and operations, uh, operational strategies, uh, corporate communication practitioners will realize that operational strategy as applied in the communication plan is not the same as the proposed corporate communication strategy. Uh, this strategy is a strategy at the functional level involving strategic decisions uh, providing focus and direction to the corporate communication function. Uh, it also produces a profile that can be used to determine which stakeholders should receive more or less emphasis. Operational strategy, as part of the communication plan, provides a framework for functional tactics. And this is the domain for the PR technicians and implementation role at the micro or program uh, level.